Hey guys, what's up? I stack the trine here from Clash of Clans Manual. Let's get into the next war right away. And once again, I wasn't in it, which wasn't very fun, but it was a lot closer and it was fun to watch, even though I wasn't in it. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, they did pretty good in their bases. They didn't use many of their attacks, though, which was kind of their downfall. If they had gotten all 70 in like we did, they might have had a better chance, but... You know, they two-starred most of our Town Hall... Actually, one guy wasn't even the tax. But they two-starred most of our Town Hall 10s and got quite a bit of three-stars. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, pretty much all our Town Hall 9s were taken out. Um, the downfall probably was on our Town Hall 10s. They couldn't quite get the uh, the two-stars there. And then we were pretty much good this war. Um, all Town Hall 10s taken care of, plus the Town Hall 9. So, pretty good. Let's take a look at a few of the attacks. Um, where are we going to start? We'll start up here with, uh, actually this one. There we go, Oleshka. And taking on a pretty, I think this is a pretty common base, this type you see. But nice Lalunian. Um, he came down to help clean up. A lot of our Town Hall 10s have been coming down. And we're really dependent on them because we depend on them first to two-star their Town Hall 10s. Then to kind of come down and help on some of the Town Hall 9s we can't take care of. So a really nice attack here. Dropping the balloons. I like how he has a ton of minions. A lot of people, like, stop using minions. They just kind of put down their hounds, put down their balloons. But I think if you can kind of swarm some minions and get them to go, especially towards the middle, they can just be, like, extra more powerful lava pups, which really help um, take care of the base, keep them quicker, take, take care of that queen, as you can see. And just a good job with his free spells. Not the highest level base, but um, really easy to mess up, it's even if you're a Town Hall 10 on 3-starring one of these Town Hall 9s, so good job there. Um, so yeah, last few defenses will go down, just has that air defense, uh, which these minions, well actually, a bunch of minions got taken out. Um, still has a bunch of balloons up though, which will make their way on over. Already has his heroes down, it's, it's pretty much over at this point. So that's a nice attack from Aleshka, and let's get into the next one. Alrighty, um, we're going to take a look at, he, no, not that one. I wanted to show you guys a Town Hall 9, so I'm trying to find one. Um, here we go, KFS, I'm um, taking on their 29. This was a great attack here. This is a tough base, even though it's not the highest level. Pretty tough, another little Lunion, um, but he's Town Hall uh, 9, doesn't have the highest level stuff. Uh, I like how he kind of holds off in the Lava Hounds, and... The reason why is the Lava Hounds are so fast, they're going to oftentimes just be kind of be wasted um, getting shot at while your balloons are still trying to follow up behind. So, good job there. Um, nice heal spell. I like that when your balloons, balloons clump up, putting that heal spell down, uh, get them back to full health, and then just making its way through the space. So that Lava Hound's about to bust. Get some pups out of that. Um, balloons making their way around. Just a nice little level 2 air defense right there, so nothing too scary. And that's pretty much it, with besides a Tesla and a few Archer Towers. Alright, so his balloon's making their way around. Um, a little bit closer than the last one, I think. Uh, just because it has only about two balloons left, and his heroes, pretty low level heroes at that. And we'll fast forward, there's still, actually still a minute 30 left. Um, so let's his minions work their way around, and his main threat is the archer tower at this point, because it uh, is the only point damage left, so it can probably do some damage to his heroes, but not a big problem, and he'll get the three star here. Alright, so you guys, one more attack. Um... We'll go up a little bit higher. Let's look at one of the uh, Go Wee Wees. Um, no. What are we looking at? Let's look at Don Verducci. I think I showed you guys an attack last war, taking on number four. He has a really interesting strategy, but I kind of like it. Um, no free spells. Putting the jumps down. Just enjoy this attack. Great attack. So, um, golems down, jump spells, uh, wizards behind. 
puts down his heroes, Pekka, get everything into the middle, lightning spell, um, all good stuff. Like I said, it's really cool. He doesn't have to worry about um, a free spell because the four golems plus like one hero, and that's gonna take up the entire Inferno Towers um, range. It can't take it. It can only take on five targets at a time. So those four golems will do it, plus like one wizard or something, which won't be too detrimental to him. And it's gonna make his way to the middle, uh, pretty quick attack, and take out this guy's town hall with his queen. And just needs to snipe a few extra buildings for that 50%. Fast forward a little bit. Um, so yeah, good attack there. Uh, pretty exciting war. It's too bad I wasn't in it. I didn't get to enjoy it as much as usual. But um, nonetheless, another good war for us. And quick sneak peek. We're getting in preparation day now against a pretty solid clan. So I think I'll show you guys the outcome of that. See you guys later. Uh, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.